And as the good doctor lowered his gun, a stillness came across the cemetery. Young Alice, still horrified from her ordeal, blankly stared down at the killer for what seemed like hours. And just as the doctor joined her side, she spotted the shovel near the headstone. With one swift motion, decapitated the killer like a snake. The nightmare was finally over. You see, Julie, there is still hope. If that brave girl can survive that killer, th then surely you can rise above your afflictions. Come on, sis, you gotta try to eat something. Now look what you've done, sis. You got, you got soup all over the bedding. Son of a bitch. Come on, Julie. Come on. None of this is working. Why can't you be how you were? I can't do this anymore. This is hell for both of us, little sister. I just wish I knew what to do. You are cordially invited to Undead Manor on October 31st at 6 p.m. to attend dinner followed by a grand tour of the estate and facilities. Marvel at the state-of-the-art building design. Stare in wonderment at the many advances in containment of the undead. Be thrilled as the latest research in immunization and cure for the undead is discussed. Don't be caught dead, not attended. Mr. Allen. Allen Tarman. Friends call me, uh, Allen. Your invitation, Mr. Tarman? 
Sal, where's that, uh, where's that got that piece of paper? Get, 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 get in there. Um, I do, I do have it. Oh, I forgot to brush my teeth here. Um, I'm gonna get it. I honestly, <laughs> I'm very organized, really. I've just, <laughs> I've had a bad month. Here, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's gotta be in here. Oh, the watchtowers. Um, uh, okay, this is a great article. Where have all the cross-dressers gone? Here, um. Well, I'm afraid if you cannot produce a invitation, you will not be able to. You're trying to tell me that if my Sal doesn't find that goddamn post-it note, that we won't be able to attend the event? But I... You listen real good, lady. I invested a ton of money in this piece of shit organization. And if it's even possible, that there's one experimental procedure in there that'll prolong my life even a little bit. Honey, please calm down. Now you know what the doctor said. He said don't get upset. Woo! <laughs> Found it! Here's the invitation, Ms. Jill Wallace. Oh, pleased to meet you, Jill. My friends call me Jill. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Ms. Wallace. Or maybe it's Mrs. Wallace, or Ms. Wallace, or <gasps> those, or they, or them, or these, whatever pronoun. It's okay, it's fine with you people. Okay, um, anyway, here is my invitation. See, right here, as you see, um, our names are on here, Mr. and Mrs. Tarman. I sure hope the rest of this tour is more inviting than this. Otherwise, my poor brother. I'm sorry, I'm Tina. Tina Randolph. Tom Hanscom. Hanscom? Was Julie Hanscom your sister? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry to hear about her. We were classmates. We weren't close, but is that why you're here? Do you think it's possible to find a way to help? Invitations, please. Now then, from this point moving forward, I will require your undivided attention. Mr. Williams will be joining us shortly. And once the tour begins, he will expect that you have read all the rules and regulations of the facility. Failure to comply to the rules and regulations could be hazardous to your very existence. Questions? Perhaps after our welcome video, you will. Welcome to the Undead Matter. We hope that you'll enjoy your tour of our state-of-the-art facility. But please be warned that safety is our number one priority aside from providing our families with various means of honoring their undead loved ones. Honor, all I care is that bastard is in a cage and rotting. Do not separate from the group. Separating from the group may seem exciting, but you could also be disastrous and have disastrous consequences. Never enter a restricted area or memorial cell. Engaging with the unrestrained undead may prove that fatal. And lastly, under no circumstances should the undead be released from this facility. Doing so could reinfect the entire surviving population. Even though the apocalypse is now over, the threat of radiation is still very much a reality. As you know, Traces of the radiation continue to remain all around us, unseen. Therefore, it is suggested that you wear a face mask when visiting one of our facilities. However, it is highly recommended that you receive the vaccine prior to visiting Undead Manor. Our research has shown that the vaccine is so safe that even our furry friends... Oh. Winston, come on, just hold still. Oh, fine. See if I care if you get the, the virus, you flea-infested little fucker. Oh. As I was saying, Does that bitch the look familiar so to you? No, I, I don't think I've ever seen her before in my life. Mm. Just 
because we're living in a post-apocalyptic world does not mean we cannot have fun. Am I right, Jill? Indeed, Mr. Williams. Do you have the invitations, Ms. Wallace? Yes, Mr. Williams. You must be Tina and uh, Tom, pleasure to meet you both. Mrs. Tarman, so sorry to hear about your brain. <sighs> Calm yourself, Ted. We'll mm. not be dining on brains this evening. We have guests. Oh, my brain is fine, Mr. Williams. <laughs> I'm just a little absent-minded, that's all. <laughs> so nice you could contribute to this evening's festivities, Mr. Tarman. I do appreciate your contributions, after all. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, Miss Abigail Sinclair, I am so sorry to hear about your late husband. A true tragedy, but like so many tragedies, true beauty can be born. Amen. Oh, Forrest, I'm so glad that you and your lovely family could make it. And you must be Mrs. Wilson. Just call me Sarah. Sarah, so nice to make your acquaintance. And you must be young Philip. I've heard so much about you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. Philip is just shy. Yeah, he's something all right. Well, perhaps uh, this will break the ice? <laughs> Usually that always works. Philip, you're being rude. Please take the sucker. Forrest, is this really necessary right now? Maybe I can just take the lollipop sucker and put it in my purse for later? No, Philip, take the sucker. Do not force him. He is my son and- Yes, he's your son and he's embarrassing me in front of my boss. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. He didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Take the fucking sucker, you little bastard, before I hear such a fucker. <laughs> oh. oh, that's disgusting. Oh, you are right not to want this, my boy. So come now, everyone, let us dine together. After all, we cannot explore the grounds on an empty stomach. Feel free to leave your coats with Ted. Mm. And do not worry, he has been thoroughly domesticated. Mm. Come with me to the dining room. Right, was it just me or did uh, old Mr. Williams sound like he was about to break out into song? I'd hate to see what would happen if I asked for a napkin. My apologies, dear Abigail. Good undead help is so hard to find. Fred, really? Pull yourself together. We have guests. Now attend to your duties in the kitchen. Well, now that we're all here, please dig in and help yourselves to whatever you wish. Excuse me, Mr. Williams? Shouldn't we wait for Miss Wallace? Wait for what? For old Jill to come down and ruin supper for all of us? Fear not, Alan. Jill Wallace will not be joining us for dinner. I have a feeling she's lost her appetite. Why? Why won't you just love me? I'm warm. Alive. Why am I not good enough? Ah! 
beautiful. That empty seat is always reserved for my late wife, Linnea. A toast to my lovely Linnea, whom without her undying support, this very facility could not exist in these post-apocalyptic times. Praise Jehovah. And speaking of facilities, so when does the official tour begin, sir? Yes, I'd love to see the location of my beloved husband's memorial cell. And I'd sure like to see some of them top secret experimental treatments you have down at the lab. And I want to have Philip's checkup done as soon as possible. In due time, my friends, I promise that you will have a chance to see the many innovations that Undead Manor has to offer. Come on, Philip. You need to eat something. You know you're not going to get better until you eat. Just Philip. give it a rest, Sarah. You know as well as I do that he's not going to eat anything. Well, maybe if I give him a prize or something, he will. A prize? I almost forgot to mention it. I will be offering a prize to one person on the conclusion of the tour. A prize? How exciting! I love prizes! And what kind of a prize? And what do we have to do to win it? That's for me not to know and you not to find out. Joe, they said money is good. You know what's gonna me, honey. You know what it's we're gonna do. Kurt? What? My brother, I just... Shall we begin the tour? That's the only thing that wants to do. Okay, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Oh, okay. Well, better luck next time. Hi, honey. What's your no. name? Mm -mm. Oh, sweet Jesus! Mm -mm. Honey, no, no, no. No, uh, we're not doing this. Just a minute, honey. We gotta go. No, I, I have... Okay, open build. your mouth. No. One, Don't two, get three. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. that, that, should, that should do you, honey. That should do you. I'm Marie Laveau, the queen of voodoo herself. If only she knew how simple it was to create zombies. Instead of using black magic, all she needed was an apocalypse. An apocalypse that would provide enough radiation to resurrect the dead and destroy most of the population. Well, that's all fun and good, Matthew. But we all know how aliens came down and they created an army of undead with their radiation to wipe out the Earth. <laughs> Al, uh, please, <laughs> remember what the doctor said. <laughs> Sometimes at night, I think I can still hear her screaming. But of course, that cannot be true. All of these crypts and graves have been soundproofed, after all, to provide those who visit with the feeling that their loved ones are at peace, as opposed to the reality that they are six feet below their feet. Screaming. Yes, dear, I already said that. Please try to keep up. No, we all just heard some sort of, uh, screeching. And it sounds... I'm sorry. No, no, wait, um, wait, hold on, it's, it's okay, wait. Oh, what was that? A zombie cat, a rather disgusting creature, but harmless nonetheless. Although, uh, it does tend to be territorial at times. Oh, well. Now, I think she means what is in that bottle? Is it acid, holy water, or poison? Oh, no, 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 nothing that elaborate. Uh, simply ordinary tap water, I'm afraid. Just because the cat is undead doesn't mean it dislikes being sprayed with water any less. 
what our research is just beginning to reveal to us is that the undead and the living are not that different after all. There is still an inner life that dwells within them and with the correct techniques it can be harnessed in such a way as to slowly enable us to rebuild our world. Oh, Tina, there you are. Didn't you hear me call you? I was gonna have him exhumed. Have him brought home, like you did with Julie. You don't want to see your brother like that. Trust me, it's, it's awful. I just can't bear the thought of never seeing him again. It's, it's too painful. I couldn't afford a memorial cell for him. It's my fault he was buried. I just couldn't stand the thought of him down there suffering. I really wish cremation were still an option, but the radiation that it would give would give off would just create more of the undead. I just feel so alone. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. You have me, Tina. But first, we're going to go find some answers here. I promise you. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dig up your brother. Too late. What the hell is going on around here? I don't know. But I, I think I have an idea of where he is. you are. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised that someone has decided to break one of our rules of safety. Never separate from the group. Would you care to catch up with the rest of us? Sure. Of course. I will have you know that you will not win the prize with behavior like that. Rules are meant to be followed. And that concludes the exterior portion of our tour. Does anybody have any questions before we proceed to tour the interior of our facility? Are you sure old church scampered off into the night? My Philip Hayes scares so easily and we do not need another rotting flea bag jumping out at us. Church, you say? Oh, no need to worry, madam. I myself do not attend church. It gives me indigestion. Well, if that's all the questions, shall we proceed? Yes. Good. As you can see, this is the latest model of memorial cell for the uh, undead. These cells are constructed with the highest quality of soundproofing material, much like what's used in the uh, Garden of the Undead. And once we were able to contain the undead after the apocalypse, it occurred to me that, please young man, I would advise you not to touch. Now, Philip, we talked about this. When somebody asks you to do something. Didn't you hear goddamn word they said, you stupid little hey, fucking idiot? Don't talk to Come my on, son like that! They're gonna pull his arm out! As I was saying, it occurred to me that people would not want to hear the tortured cries of their undead loved ones when they came to visit. I also came to realize that it was more comforting to see the undead in simulated environments. Simulated environments? that echo in here? That bastard! I wish I had a gun. What he means is that they will be in places like they would have been when they were still alive. 
Are you a mind reader, Miss Tarman? I was just about to utter that very statement. Oh, <laughs> I did read the brochure. Now, my Al here, he is going to be in a courtroom because he is a retired lawyer and he has spent so many minutes and days and hours and years putting people in jail. So lawyer. I told you I'm not gonna go in one of those memorial tomb things. I, I'm never gonna die. Never say never, Mr. Tarman. We all said there would never, ever be an apocalypse. We said zombies aren't real. We even said sexuality was a choice. <laughs> but there was an apocalypse. There are zombies and people fuck who they want because sexuality is a biologically decided factor. Listen. I don't care where anyone plants their flags, Mr. Williams. I don't care if it's a moon or Uranus. My sentiments exactly, Alan. Shall we all proceed and take a look at more cells down this way? That's right, James. I killed you. And guess what? I don't feel any remorse for what I did. And these are the pictures that investigator took of you last year with that little slut. I hope you choke on them. She's going into labor! Help! Help! Oh, Jill! Wherever could you be? <coughs> oh, Jill, there you are, and you're so late. Please finish the tour while we attend to Mrs. St. Clair. And do try to be more prompt in appearing next time, Jill. After all, appearances are everything. You understand? Let Good. should very well be the final injection. Yes, yes, I'm sure. I should hope so. My veins are starting to feel as though rigor mortis has set in. Don't lose hope now. Our goal is so close to becoming realized. Your goal, you mean? I did not rescue you from the coldness of the grave for all of this to be for me. Why do I still feel so cold? Frank, my shawl, please. The process takes time. And time takes time to time. You can't must this thing lurk around you all the time. Matthew, it has a name. Or did you forget? Frank has feelings. Yes, indeed. But without the control collar, I'm sure our interactions would be very different, to say the least. Fortunately, the collar is working brilliantly. I must apologize, Frank. You are truly a valuable prototype. Once the production of the control collars is complete, I can begin to rebuild this world. Tom, why did we walk away from the group? Did you hear something? No, but I saw something. Look. This paperwork has my brother's name on it. I don't understand. 
What is this place? Biohazard? What are they doing in there? We have to be very careful, Tina. This room wasn't on the tour for a reason. What if my brother Kurt is in there? What if- well, What if there's danger in there? But that's why I'm here, to help my brother. I'm going in there with or without- We'll go in there, we'll go in there together. But not without those. I think we just stumbled upon all the experiments being done here at Undead Manor. Tina, I wouldn't take your mask off. We don't know if the air in here is ah! radioactive. You? No, Tina, don't get too close. It's not safe. But he's my brother. You should be very proud of your brother. He has proved to be an ideal subject. Kurt has greatly aided us in our endeavors here at Undead Manor. I don't understand. In the event of his death, Kurt wanted to have his body donated to science. Also, it was one of his wishes that he be first buried so his family would have the chance to say goodbye. He wanted to be sure that everybody had closure. And then... You stole his body. Retrieved his body, Tom. There is a difference. And it's all right here in writing. After you're finished exploring the laboratory, please lock up. And I'd advise you against separating from the group again. I'm really rooting for you both. And I'm almost certain that the two of you will win the prize. I think at this point, the only prize is surviving this place. It doesn't matter anymore. Kurt actually wanted this. This whole thing was pointless, at least for me. Ah! Tina, what's wrong? Nothing. We can still search for the serum they're developing, right? Exactly. It's supposed to reverse the effects of the radioactivity of the recently infected. There's a possibility it can still help Kurt and Julie. safe to give her the injection yet? I can't say for sure, Matthew. I was a funeral director before the apocalypse. She was a hooker. We're doing the best we can. That's right. I was used to performing tricks, not miracles. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Abigail, can you hear me? Ah! I'll take that as a yes. Now, Abigail, I need you to slow your breathing down and allow Don to check your progress. Uh, I don't know if it's too late for the serum. Uh, there's all kinds of shit oozing everywhere. Check her heartbeat, Don. If it's still beating, chances are it isn't too late to administer the serum. Please, use the syringe. I'm sorry, Matthew. It's a little difficult to see after you've been sprayed in the face with radioactive zombie pussy juice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it might be too late. No, it can't be too late. Perhaps it takes longer for somebody giving birth. Check her breathing. <laughs> Do hurry, please. I suppose you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Either way, my appetite is ruined. There's only half a dose left. And as you can see by this currently unoccupied memorial cell, the accommodations are more than adequate. In fact, they're quite luxurious. And that concludes our tour. Philip, Philip, stay here. Do you know when Mr. Williams will be meeting with us to examine our son? Soon. I was actually expecting him at any moment myself, now that the tour is over. No, son. That room isn't for you. The only place you belong is in a dumpster. I hope he's going to announce the winner soon. <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> now. Please have a seat in the drawing room. And I still have business with Matthew, too. <laughs> I'm going to locate Mr. Williams and we'll be back momentarily. Please make yourselves comfortable. But do not touch anything. This place is not meant for children. You have nothing to worry about. There are no children here. How dare you embarrass me like that? How dare you embarrass our son like that? I have no son! Uh, come on, Al. Uh, maybe we should take a little walk. Let's give the Wilsons some privacy. <laughs> <laughs> the salad's just starting to get really good. What the hell is wrong with you? He is just as much my son as he is your son! My son died! I had no part in creating that! Come along, Al. Come on. Come on, get up. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I don't know. I How don't know dare why you? Here, How I dare you embarrass even... me? They are loud, aren't they? Oh, let's close this door. This has all gone on long enough, Sarah. When are you going to move on and let go? What? Let go of our marriage? No, of Philip. Philip is right here. It's, a, it's okay, Philip. It's okay. Mommy's never. Ever That's not you. reality. It's okay. Philip. You know. It's okay. Somewhere deep down inside, that that is all a lie. You don't love me anymore, do you? Just admit it. You don't love me anymore! Just say it. Just say it! I did this all for you! I wouldn't even be here tonight if I still didn't love you! 
But I just can't do this anymore. It's not true. It's all lies. Philip, it's okay. Mommy's never gonna leave you. No. I, I, I just can't do this anymore with you tonight. Forrest, wait. Wait. curtains. Green and, and red will get a little Mexican flair going. We'll get some pretty pink, pink fluffy pillows and spider plants. Oh, spider plants. They bring oxygen like crazy. It's nice for someone else, Sal. But not for me. Al, please. Come on. At least agree that it's pleasant enough looking. Come on. Come on. Take a look. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yes, dear. It's very, very nice. Now, where is that character? He promised me something that would better my existence. I got a word for that, Mr. Williams. Ooh. Yes, dear. You know I'm one of his biggest investors. And he better be working on some kind of innovation to keep me alive. Yes, dear. I'm sure he has been working very, very hard. What's that you're hiding behind you, Sal? What? Oh, it's nothing, honey. You're seeing I... things again. <laughs> You just moved oh, them out oh, of the way, Sal! I, I, honey, honey, look, I am sorry. I was hoping that the complete cell would be done before we took this tour. But uh, they have to still paint. They have to put in rugs. I want a few mirrors, and I'm hoping maybe a bidet. But, honey, you... That bastard! He never intended to help me at all! After everything we've been through! No, Al, Al, I, I know Mr. Williams has been working very hard on the brain transplant program that you proposed, honey. But, but given your illness and the time, there just isn't enough time. I hope. One of those undead monsters eats him alive! Now, please, honey, you're getting yourself all worked up for nothing. <laughs> Let, let's go take a seat inside the cell, okay? All right? Uh, so you can catch your breath, all right? It's going to be really nice, honey. It's going to be just like Florida, all right? Okay? But no alligators. Oh, see, dear? Look at this! Look at this! Oh, good, good. <laughs> Good, I left my purse there. Okay, look. Look how terrific this looks. Right, it's an almost exact replica of your office. So now, even in death, you don't ever have to retire. You can keep working forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I don't believe this. Oh, I know, and Mr. Williams sold this cell to me at cost. Oh, what a deal. He is such a generous man. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? You know, Sal, I don't even have the words to describe how I feel about that man right now. And you haven't heard the best part of it yet, my love. Now I know, even though it's not an exact replica of the office, but I have had them make a special corner for me. Now I can have all of my crafts all squished in the corner. <laughs> so when we both pass away, then I can be in the corner crocheting away while you, you're working at your office. Isn't that wonderful, my dear? Oh, Al, I love you so much. <laughs> Wait, you mean we'll be together forever? Yes! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jehovah! Yes! Yes, my darling! We will be together forever until the next apocalypse, I'm sure. 
forever. Yes, dear. It will be like heaven on a June day. June 15th, the day we got married. <laughs> oh, oh, hell. Al? Al? Oh, honey, you know what? I knew it would be your heart. Good for you. <laughs> oh, but I'm so sorry. I was hoping that this cell would be all fixed up by the time this day came. Oh, you know what? We don't have much time, though. just love this purse my favorite purse that Elle got me <laughs> okay now where is that <laughs> oh my where did I put it oh <laughs> oh Elle Elle oh, I love you look how gorgeous you are and I want to tell you honey I forgive you for that torrid horrible affair that you had with Lydia the time when I came in and you were humping her from behind. Darling, I love you forever and ever. I'll see you soon, baby. <laughs> oh. your brother like like that in a cage of all things i had convinced myself that i could handle seeing him again that once i saw him i could help him and he wouldn't have to suffer anymore but he is hey 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 listen we're all suffering every one of us alive or undead every one of us is in our own sort of hell but, but even in the darkest of times, I mean, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I... I just wish I didn't... smell? Uh, well, I'm sure the, the chemical smell or the, or the radiation will wear off eventually. I wouldn't worry too much about it. No, Tom, over there, an open door, and I smell perfume. Lilac? Yeah, the most cliche scent associated with the paranormal, but still. Well, it's worth investigating. These side hallways seem to be the location of the rooms where most of the experiments are going on. Maybe that mystery serum is in there. Only one way to find out. This isn't a lab, so maybe this isn't the room after all. It's okay. We'll keep looking. We still have a few hours. This is the correct room. The serum! Yes. I just knew that you both would be the ones to reach the prize. Ah! 
Please, darling, let them through. I have much to discuss with them both. <sighs> All in due time, my dear Kurt. I did promise you treats after all, and treats you shall have. First, you must treat me to a little experiment so the treats can begin. It's such a treat indeed to have such a willing subject to treat. Ah, but first, let me introduce you to your bride. <sighs> Oh, Kurt, now don't be that way, my boy. She is quite lovely and quite single, I assure you, too. And don't forget the joys of the honeymoon. Abigail, meet your undead groom, Kurt. And Kurt, meet your corpse bride, Abigail. Truly a match made in hell, or here at Undead Manor. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you worry your undead heads one little bit. I took the liberty of removing the rings you and your ex-husband had after you attacked me. So, you see, we have something old. Your faces are blue. <laughs> that gown is borrowed. And your lovely necklace is new. So, we have it all covered. And... Perfect. Just like the amount of serum I used was perfect to prevent me from becoming like yourselves. But don't worry. All is forgiven. Life is too short after all. Do you, Kurt, take this undead woman to be your abomination of a wife so long as you both exist? Honeymoon. <laughs> and do you, Abigail, take this undead man to be your abomination of a husband so long as you both exist? He's chained to a wall. You'll always know where he's at. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, with the military power entrusted in me, I now pronounce you zombie and ghoul. You may kiss your bride. Uh, before you both move on to the honeymoon phase, I need to repair the bride's face. Perhaps a face transplant. Yes, I've always wanted to attempt that procedure. This is some fucked up shit. <laughs> but still. <sighs> mm. Oh, 
been a breach in our security, and the undead may or may not have been released into the general population. At this point, it is highly recommended that you wear a face mask if you have one. Again, please remain calm. This contagium is completely manageable. And here at Undead Manor, we have numerous alternate security measures put in place for situations such as these. As always, everything is completely safe and under control in this state-of-the-art facility. Me? I never thought I'd run right into a farce in the middle of my own hallway. Please! I, I've, I've been injured and... and Obviously! Uh, you're getting blood all over my floor, and I will have you know that... Sir! I'm so glad to have located you. There's been a breach in security, and I think I know the culprit. Yes, Jill. I think that's quite obvious. This is precisely why I recommended everyone to stay together during the tour! Please! I, I need medical attention! I think I'm bleeding out! Yes, yes, I know that you're bleeding. I promise you I'll get you a band-aid in just a moment. As I was saying, I instructed everyone to stay together during the tour. Otherwise... <laughs> an alarm of some sort. What's going on? It's nothing for either of you to be concerned with. You are completely safe in here with me. Well, what does that even mean? It looks as though there has been a slight breach in security. But as I said before, there is nothing to be concerned with. This is the safest room in the facility. So you're saying this is the facility's safe room for, for an emergency? The only emergency I can foresee happening here is the undead escaping from their cell. Is that what happened? Yes, but that's beside the point now. Besides the point? We could be in danger and you say it's besides the point? I have prepared for this moment for a very long time, and as I have said several times now, you are both safe. You survived, just as I knew that you would just as I needed you to do. What do you want with us? I need you to take the serum away from here and start the process of rebuilding the world. 
What? I thought the serum was supposed to help cure anybody that was bitten by a zombie. How's that going to help rebuild our world? The serum does not only cure those who are attacked. It can also be used as an immunization and to also euthanize the undead. <clears throat> Essentially, the radioactive effects of the apocalypse will be undone once the serum is mass-produced. But, but what about Undead Manor? I mean, won't the need for it be obsolete? That's my goal. Who are you? You're Mrs. Linnea Williams. You're his wife. I thought you were... Dead? Well, more like undead, but more alive because of the serum. Anyway, there isn't much time, and I need your help. Otherwise, all of this will have been for nothing. Okay. So what do you need? I need you to help me stop Matthew and his master plan from bringing about a second apocalypse. There! The alarm stopped, Philip. Everything is gonna be okay. There was probably just a broken pipe somewhere. We're going to find your father and leave this place. Once we are home, buddy, everything is going to be okay. Everything will be just fine. What is it, Philip? What do you see? Robotic Memorial Unit. Memorial Unit? That's the name of the lab that the specialist had mentioned. They were supposed to meet us there to go over your treatment plan. I wonder, I wonder if it's the same lab. Sarah, we have got to get out of here. I, I'm hurt and, and- Maybe the lab techs can help you. We were just going in to see- No, there's, there's no time to see anything. Somehow the undead have escaped from their cells and they're, they're swarming the hallways now. The alarm? Yes, and, and for whatever reason it stopped. I have no idea what that means, but I'm not about to stand around here to find out. Come on! Come on, Philip. Your father is hurt. We have to get out of here. We have to get him help. Philip! Are you crazy? I'm not leaving our son! Leave it! That thing is not our son! Just because you don't want to be a father to me? Our son is dead! No! Yes! Our son was run down by a Mack truck. Listen to no. me. That thing was just supposed to help you through the grief. No. Our not Philip is true. dead. It's not true. My husband started out with the best intentions for this facility. After the apocalypse, he not only wanted to find a means to honor and contain the dead, but to help rebuild our world. 
but... Linnea, what changed? My husband. But you said he wanted to help rebuild our world. He did. But then he discovered my affair with Frank and murdered us both. He quickly felt the guilt for killing me, however. That's when he created the serum, Nixiort 542, in an attempt to revert the zombification effects. But now his deranged mind lust for nothing but power and control. I have to stop him. Stop him from what? From taking over the entire world with an army of the dead. Then that's what these experiments have been all about, and why he's developing these control callers. Son of a bitch, he never intended to help any of us. Then why this whole charade? Why did he invite us here today? Why to select a winner, of course. And believe you me, you both are winners. Oh, congratulations, my boy. And to you two, my dear, you both are winners. You made it safely to the safe room. And that alone is reason enough to celebrate. Safe room? Indeed, and you may return there momentarily, after we've discussed some very important business, of course. Besides, the undead have been successfully secured in the hallways by my state-of-the-art containment system. This truly was the perfect evening for its test run. You're... you're mad! No, I am thrilled. Charmed, enchanted, and most importantly, thirsty. A toast to the winners of my grand prize. What are you going to do with us? Do with you? Why, nothing at all. It's what both of you can do for me. As winners of my grand prize, you shall both live here in the lap of luxury. You will oversee the day-to-day -day operations of this facility, as well as all of my very important and top secret experiments. I, in turn, will venture off to conquer this new world with an army of my undead soldiers. A true humanitarian effort, I assure you. No! We'll never do that. You will, of course, also have to watch over my dear undead wife Linnea in my absence. But before we discuss any further details, I must insist that you sign, that you sign this contract. And now that you know, realize, and understand what I'm offering you, I think that you have earned the privilege of seeing me as I truly am. Oh. Behold, my true form. Dr. Romero? The infamous Nazi scientist responsible for... The murder of thousands. Something to do with eugenics? I remember the headlines. <laughs> that is a very astute observation, young lady. But you must realize this holographic technology was necessary. Of course, he knew he could never show his face again here after the apocalypse, or he would be executed. Of course, he would plead that it was all in the name of science. 
I am truly the man behind the curtain. And as of now, after this victorious venture, I am a god. Shall we? I feel it is important that I verbally emphasize certain aspects of this contract. <clears throat> I, the undersigned, agree to never, under any circumstances, bite, chew, lick, or suck. Another dose. Linnea! The serum! I am afraid there is only one vial of the serum left, Matthew. We can make more! Just give me the serum! No, I cannot do that. This all has to end tonight, starting with you. Just give me the serum, you ungrateful bitch! I'm the only one that ever loved you! I brought you back! Yes, and that is why I know the suffering of being undead. I cannot let you use all of their pain and anguish and suffering for your evil plan. Give me that serum before I kill you again! Ugh. What do you think you're doing, you worthless sack of shit? The monster finally killed its master. I thought it had to follow the orders of its master. Yes, I am his true master, and now it's time to follow my plan. Tom, please drag his body to the safe room. And Tina, please bring the refreshments. There is still so much to do, and so very little time. why we had to drag the body over here. Yeah, it's just gonna turn into another one of those things. I'm counting on it. Thank you, my love. I'm sure the collar will work long enough for our purposes, especially with the exchanged battery in it. He didn't attack us, but protected you without the collar working. How is that possible? Even the undead have a will of their own. For some reason, I can't get it to stop. 
None of the passwords are working. What's going on? What's happening? Well, it's going to stop after a few minutes now, won't it? It's another part of the security system. My dear departed husband must have installed it without my knowledge. I mean, well, it'll, it'll stop after a few minutes now, won't it? Yes, everything will stop. Matthew installed a program that would go off and destroy everything in the event of his death. He's going to have the last laugh after all. There's still time. Take the serum. You have about 10 minutes before the security system self-destructs and destroys the building. Then we have to go now. How? We can't go through that door. No, there's a staircase behind that door. It leads directly to the garden. From there, you can get to the gate and escape. All right, but how are we going to open the gate? I mean, it must be locked or, or have at least a code to, to... Of course, you're right. I almost forgot. Here's the key. Come with us. Yeah, you'll finally be free of all this. I already am. Thanks to both of you. Now go, rebuild your world. And lay the dead to rest. So nice of you to finally join us, Matthew. Please feel free to kiss my feet. <sighs> That's an order, slave. Just because there isn't much time left doesn't mean we can't spend it with the ones we love. <laughs> what is it, Tom? All right, listen, I, I set the timer. Uh, by my estimate, we only have about five minutes to get to that gate and then get to my car. But we have to move fast. Are you ready? Over there, see a pan. If we follow that, we should get to the gate. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Let, let's go. Instead of using alligators, he uses zombies. Come on! Apparently the dead don't believe in divorce either. Bro, I told you. I prefer the anal beads. 
over the butt plug. Yes? No, you can take that butt plug and shove it right up your ass. Why? I guess it just feels better. It's more stimulating. I mean, do some homework. Go on the internets. Uh, no, of course not. I'm not gonna tell my wife we've been sharing the anal beads. Bro, it's bro code 100%. Yeah. Oh shit! Zombies everywhere! I think... I think somebody's escaping! It's that... It's that dude with the bad wig and his... His girlfriend, I think! Yeah, the one from... The one that looks like a zombie from Cell 2! Oh man, I gotta go. I probably have to take care of this. Hey, wait... Wait a minute, what do I hear? What? Take this up your ass, you maggot buffet! But if we keep running, we'll be okay. They're so slow. And just don't let them bite you. Right! I see the gate. It's a little boy! We have to take him with us! Wait! Look! Bains! Bains! Oh god, Tom! It's awful! Cover your eyes, Tina. Tom, what are you doing? Just cover your eyes. Bang, bang, bang. bang. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you smiling again and <laughs> getting your natural appetite back. I owe you my life, Tom. If you hadn't gone through hell to get that serum... Well, we both wouldn't be here to see another day. But you don't have to say another word, Julie. I mean, I would do anything for you, little sis. Because I love you. I only wish that there had been enough serum for you to cure your girlfriend, Tina. I know. But I could barely salvage anything from that broken vow just to help us. I can tell you loved her. It's a shame. I think I would have liked her. Yeah, I know you would have. Well, I'm going to get myself something to eat. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. Uh, yeah, why don't you find something for us to watch? Please stay inside of your homes. There has been a huge zombie outbreak, and it is a complete nightmare out there. Sources speculate that a recent explosion at one of the undead manors has leaked out radioactivity very quickly 
and that also reanimates the dead at an alarming rate. We are waiting for a response from Governor England. There is no new line of defense in place. We recommend that you lock your doors, your windows, and stay inside and do not confront the undead. Because if you do and they get their claws into you, someone that can synthesize the remnants from the vial to create more of the serum. And then I can bring you back to life. <laughs> 